All right, this is uh, part two. I'm going through uh, my notes one for algebra two on page nine. So what I need to do now is I need to graph the function uh, f of x equals cosine of pi times x. So uh, to graph, I'm gonna press uh, the home key and I'm gonna go down here and you can see I can add a calculator. Uh, I can add graphs and that's what I wanna do. So I'm gonna add a graph and I get this. So what I wanna do is I wanna graph cosine of pi times x. So trig key, cosine, uh, pi key, pi, uh, I'm go it's optional, but I'm going to put multiplication and then X, press enter and see this graph. And maybe you've never seen this graph before. It's kind of neat. Um, so it looks like this. And uh, I mean, there's not much to be done. Uh, but what, what we're supposed to look at is, is the X coordinates of uh, where things happen. So what I will do is menu. Uh, menu in general is a good thing to press. And then I'm going to go down to trace. So that's... Uh, and then graph trace. So menu 5, 1, which eventually you want to memorize. Menu 5, 1 takes you to graph trace. And when you're graph tracing, you can actually just punch in an x-coordinate. So right now it's telling me that I'm at the uh, ordered pair 0, 1. You can see up here, it's telling me that graph trace is uh, enabled. Uh, if I type 0. 0.5, it's going to bounce to where x is 0. 0.5, which turns out to be 0. If I type 1, it's going to bounce to where x is 1, which turns out to be negative 1. These values are the same values that I got when I evaluated the function, um, and it's nice. It's got uh, this graph is called periodic. Uh, it repeats itself, kind of like uh, day to night to day to night. Like the day is periodic, the amount of sunlight you're seeing. Uh, so it's periodic, and uh, that's really all I want to say about this at this point. Uh, so the next thing I want to do, following right along with the notes, is I need to graph. So Another way of inserting, so what I could do is I could just press uh, home and then uh, just pick graphs again. And now you can see 1.1, uh, if I press control and to the left, it'll take me back to 1.2, which is that graph. If I press control and to the left, it'll take me back to 1.1, do it. Uh, it'll take me back to 1.1, which is all its calculator stuff. Uh, if you're good at it, you can use the cursor and actually just click. But control left, control right will move you back and forth. Um, actually, if I arrow up here, see how it says F2? If I arrow up, that's F1. That's the previous graph that I had made. But this time I'm just supposed to graph cosine. So I'm going to hit the trig key, go to cosine, and X, press enter. And so I'm seeing this. And this actually, it looks a lot like the previous graph, except it's way more spread out. So you can see they have the exact same window. Uh, X goes from negative 10 to 10, and Y goes from negative 6.67 to 6.67. Um, so same window, but this one's way more spread out. And what I want to do now is uh, find the maximum. So I'm going to try to find a maximum. Uh, you can actually see that it's 1, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So you're going to press Menu. Go to Option 6, which is Analyze Graph. And Option 3 is Maximum. So the way that this works... And you can see this little icon up here says maximum. So it'll tell you. Um, if you click to the left and then click to the right. So uh, here, there's a maximum somewhere here. So I'm going to click to the left of it. And I'm going to drag. And what you do basically is drag until the point stops following your cursor. So it stops it there. Once you're to the right, you click again. And it pastes it. So there's the point. Uh, the way that I'm moving these, by the way, is I'm, I'm clicking and dragging. So arrow over it until you get this little grabby hand guy. Click and drag. Uh, I'm going to do it again over here. So if I go to menu, analyze graph, maximum, just like that. And I could do it one more time. But what I want to do is I want to show you another way to do this. So I'm going to insert another graph page. This time I want to use the previous function. So I'm just going to arrow up to where I have it, press enter. I now know that the maximum always happens at 1. So what I'll do is press tab so that I can graph another function. So notice there's no place here to enter a function. If I press tab, it shows up again. I'm going to graph 1. So y equals 1. It's a horizontal line like that. And now this is a very famous key combination. I'm going to press menu and go to 8 for geometry, 1 for points and lines, and 3 for intersection points. And to use intersection points, which you can see here, I'm going to click the first graph, so you arrow over it and click, arrow over the second graph and click, and you can see this is still here to get rid of this, press escape, 
and it gave me all of the maximum points that you could see. So what it does is it finds all of the intersection points that are on the screen at the same time. So all three of these, and I only had to do it once, so it's much more efficient, kind of a better way to do it. Um, and I am going to cut this video here and come back, I guess, with a third installment. So I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.